What's up football lovers? Hope you are in charming condition. Now the seasons is on, and you must be eagerly waiting for your team to score the point. But, how about scoring with your team by yourself? Yeah, exactly. I'm asking you about the football video games. There will be no one in this world, who is not like to play with your team, and score some goals, during the football seasons. There may be some who only love watch games but not playing a video games. But from my previous words, let's place those legends out, and place them in any corner. This video is for those charming people who loves to play those nice games with your team in the seasons. And now, if we take a look at the new formations, clubs, players, managers etc., there are a vast changes in them, throughout the seasons and from season to season. This is a very sensational thing in football. Playing with the same players for years in football, will eventually increase the team's strength and understanding ability of a player to cope up with different situations. Also the communication between the players increases. Well this is good. But, as a viewer or fans in the gallery, the same team for so many years is a boring. And at this time for increasing team strength and giving some new chance for new players. Teams try to cope up with this boring situation. So this is a very important point even in the real game, or any video game, because the new player and tactics, skills etc. are great pleasure for the real football lovers. So there are irregular based changes happening in the football world. But what about the video games? Especially the mobile games. Now there are a lot of Xbox games, that are high-end realistic, and we feel as if we are playing in the real world. So much reality. But when we consider the updates about the cost and also the regular game updates, this is not so much reliable and is costly. By this particular reason, people not love to depend on Xbox. And with an Xbox you will also need to combine good TV to get that particular heavenly gaming experience. This adds more and more expense, and also you cannot do anything with Xbox other than gaming, according to my small knowledge. So buying a Xbox is a utter waste of your money, if you are a common man. If you are rich, stop the video here, go to the store, have your Xbox and eat that. This video focus on the mobile gamers, since all of us have a mobile by now, this video will help them to find their best games. So when we come to the mobile football games, there are not much of them, which actually give you the feeling, that you are playing football. There are a hundred thousand games in the game store. But only few of them are good. They are the Dream League Soccer which you are now watching in this video, followed by Pro Evolution Soccer and FIFA. But how can we rate this games? Are they flagship level? Which games are for which device? And which is the best among these? Here's the answer for all of these questions. We will start with FIFA. FIFA in this year is FIFA 21. It's one of the three best football games in the game store. This is a lighter version of Xbox games. But does not provide much graphics. It also have the new updates of the recent team's player faces and other important features. This is supported for the average phones, that support at least a Android 5 Plus. This is an online game dot and is only less than 100 MB. So there may be no worries about consumption of storage. But there are some downs for this game. First is that, considering the remaining two games and the FIFA's older version FIFA 16, the new game is a utter flop. It's good gameplay and we can build whatever team we want. But this game has some defects and lack many other features. But if you really are a fan of FIFA, try playing the game. It may be fun for you dot but I won't recommend this game. By all games that I mention here, we can sign any players and make a unique team. So keep this in mind when I explain the games. The next game is the Dream League Soccer 2021. Now this is my favorite game dot it's an partially offline game. If you ever ran out of internet or have poor connection, this may be the perfect game for you. There is only one offline mode named Exhibition Mode in DLS 2021. But considering other games that does not even open with a good network, this is a better choice. In offline mode you cannot sign players, which is one of the cons for this game. But with a good 3G internet we can play the online mode, which is a good thing I noticed. This game also gives a multiplayer mode through which we can play online with other players with a stable 4G network, which is a great thing in this days. This give competitive experience and you could have overall great experience in gaming. And the most great thing is that you can also play with your companions using LAN Wi-Fi. Now this is great. And if you prefer a complete offline game, try the old Dream League 2019. This is a completely offline game. This also have the all updates of the real life 2019 football seasons. Since it's offline, you don't have to wait your low ping. But you will not get the 2021 updates. So little compromise. Now, the latest version gives great experience in gaming. This is a best game in my opinion and I recommend this to you guys. This comes below 500 MB. Maybe below 400 MB. So less storage, great experience. This game also have a good average commentary. Which is included in the game itself. So, this is the best in my opinion, if you haven't played this yet, download it and play it once. 
maybe this is the perfect game with low storage and better settings. So try it. The third and the last is the Pro Evolution Soccer also called PES, this is a high-end game. Also you need, an above average device to play this game in its full potential. So if you don't have such mobile phones, you try Dreamleak. If you have high-end device, then only consider this. In details let's first consider the pawns of this game. Mainly, the gameplay is great here. The Konami has applied high real-time physics here. There is also real-time physics in FIFA and Dream League as well. But here in this game, the reality physics is well improved. So you will have a real player-like animation here. Also the skills, updates about seasons are also weekly based updated here. This is a completely online game. But does not consume much data, in normal gameplay. But the multiplayer option need a stable 4G network and also consume high data. There are also complex controls which improves the gameplay of the game. The game also have high details. The players' faces and body have great details, that as well. But, the stadium, ground, and other things like substitution animation, injury animation, etc. are not in the game. This is one of the cons, other cons are that the game is high-end game, which consume more than 1.5 GB. Which is not so appreciative compared to the overall games. But as a humorous fact there is no sidesman referee or main referee seen in the game. Of course you can see the main referee when a foul is done, or any similar condition. But there is no referee seen during normal gameplay. This seems like to me, that the referee is letting the players a free game. Only interrupting during fouls, as we take this in a humorous way. But for such a game that consumes so much storage space, this is not acceptable at all, because even the Dream League Soccer and FIFA with less space have this. The missing referee is not real at all. This will give you a negative experience in my opinion. Now when we condider another pawns we have, a superb commentary in many languages. The commentary is so good that, you feel like you are watching a game on TV. But another cons is that you have to download this additional commentary, which again uses 300 to 500 megabytes, which is not good. This adds up the storage consumption. So I not recommend you to consider this game. So in conclusion, if you need a game which is similar to FIFA, and you are a FIFA fan, go for FIFA 2021. If you need a game consume less storage and gives you a better experience. Moreover if you need a overall game, with nice graphics and inbuilt commentary, go for Dream League Soccer 2021. If you need a completely offline game you have to compromise and go for Dream League Soccer 2019, which is similar to DLS 2021, but don't have recent updates. If you have a high-end phone and you doesn't consider the storage and RAM, you only need only good gameplay, and you don't consider the in-match animation so much, then go for PES 2021. My personal opinion is DLS 2021 since it's well-balanced game. And for me I only play football during the football seasons. My first game is PUBG Mobile. So for myself, DLS is the best game that consume less storage. So go for PES only you play football regularly. Otherwise DLS is the best game for you. I recommend DLS to you guys, what's your favorite football game? Let me know in the comments. Also like share and subscribe so that, I get some benefit for making this video. And if you find this video a dump for you, dislike and let me know in the comments. But make sure to share this to maximum of your friends. This may be useful for them. Now I'm making a comparison video of PES and DLS 2021 soon. So if you are interested, subscribe and enable the bell icon to get that video. Peace out.